With the release of 1.9, Remix and the Workshop have been added to Rainworld. This means modding the game is easier than ever. In this video, I'll be showcasing the best mods I've found on the Workshop. But before we begin, here is a spoiler warning. This video rudely assumes you've played all of the campaigns, which you might not have done, so come back later, once you have. The first mod is Music Announcements by SaberML. It's a very simple mod that adds a pop-up every time a music track plays, which is how it works in the arena modes. This is a neat little change that I think could have been part of the original remix settings. It also shows the song currently playing in the corner of the pause menu. Next up is Puppet Master by Naku, who is a big shot in the Rainworld community. It allows Spear Master to generate a new type of spear by holding the upwards key. Successfully hitting creatures with this spear allows you to control them identical to how they work in Safari mode. It's basically like that one guy from Hunter x Hunter, you know, the needle guy. God, he's scary. Ooh. Single player co-op emotes by Saber ML adds the co-op emotes to single player. I like these because it gives Slugcat a bit more emotion, without the baggage of enabling the co-op mode. You can also use it to BM the scavengers as Artificer. Here I am just sleeping at the scavenger toll. Score Galore by Jewel gives you a live feed of what your score is, so every time it's updated it shows you how much it's updated by. It also shows this at the end of the cycle, and the statistics option is always available from the character selection screen. This is one of those mods where you turn it on and keep it on because of how useful it is. Minimalist Multiplayer by RatRat44 adds minimalist multiplayer to Rainworld. I'm sorry for the absolutely abysmal footage on screen right now, but this is my testing of it. Some random lobby was open, so I just joined it and I got put in an arena with an absolute psychopath who was like spawning stuff and killing me. I don't know, it was a whole experience, like 10 out of 10 would recommend, bit laggy. Uh, it's, it kind of works, yep. Sunhat by Uranium Carrot 126 ported by Jewel is a mod that adds sun hats to every slug cat except Saint and the slug pups. I quite like this mod, it's simple, it's cute. It's kind of fitting for slug cats to have sun hats. I don't know why. The sun hats also change colour to complement whatever slug cat you're playing as. Rotund World by Willow Wispy is a very simple premise where it enables you to keep eating past the food bar. This causes slug cat to dynamically increase in size, putting it nicely. Which can lead to a bunch of consequences, like getting stuck in pipes, or sweating and getting exhausted. What's crazy about this mod is it has so much content, like unique iterator dialogue, other creatures can get fat, new sound effects, and more. I recommend playing in co-op as you can pull your sluggy friends out of pipes if they get too fat and get stuck. But yeah, it's kind of crazy how much this mod adds for being such a goofy concept. I barely scratched the surface of how much this mod adds. But I will say it's probably the most developed mod out there at the moment. So I guess it wins the modding award trophy of this video. Tokens in Expedition by Wolfo adds the unlock tokens in Expedition. It also grabs custom colours of the slug cats from the main campaigns to be used in Expedition. This is a good mod because it allows you to like do collection stuff and play Expedition, which is nice. Slug Cat Eyebrow Raise by Fourth Bridge allows Slug Cat to menacingly raise its eyebrow, like the funny Dwayne Johnson meme. Pressing left alt or the keybind it's set to causes Slugcat to raise its brow and a vine boom sound effect is played. It also causes the camera to zoom in which is kind of uncanny and that coding is done by Hemp Pamaz. This is not just an emotion however, it's a physical attack and can stun any creature that is nearby. It also changes some of the Slugcat art to include the eyebrow raise which makes it a pretty funny mod if you like loud ooga booga sounds like I do. Rideable Lizards by Noir Kato surprisingly lets you ride tamed lizards. These lizards control the same as how they do in Safari mode, meaning you can use all their gimmicks and powers to your advantage. Now the mod is pretty janky and I couldn't get some of the features to work such as the creature den mechanics, but it's still a fun mod nonetheless and hopefully it gets improved in the future. Saint, also by Noir Kato, turns the once peaceful Saint into a soldier armed to the teeth. This mod gives Saint a bandana and the ability to throw spears. It can also gain a bomb belt, which allows Saint to carry lots of bombs. These bombs are replenished during hibernation. I like this mod as it turns Saint into a combat slug cat, rather than the pacifist slug cat it was before. And it's fun visiting the Saint's campaign with a new aggressive playstyle. Before I end the video, here is some small mods that I think deserve an honourable mention.
Alright, that's all the mods. All of the workshop links are down in the description below if any of them caught your eye. I might make more videos on the modding workshop if people enjoy this, so leave a like and subscribe if you do. If you don't like this video, you can hit that dislike button if you want to. Alright, that's the end of the video. Goodbye.